Hi guys and assalamu alaikum welcome to my new blog post blog post 23 and in this blog post i am going to discuss about uh, a tsql as a dialect to understand now what does that mean uh, let's start uh, so before moving on towards the next slide i really would like to give you some aspects about the tsql basically tsql is based on a strong mathematical foundations and understanding some of the key principles from those foundations can actually help you better to understand the language you are dealing with. Uh, then you will think in TSQL terms when coding in TSQL as opposed to coding with TSQL while thinking in procedural terms. So why I am saying this, let's understand this with uh, a, an example. So basically, TSQL is the main language and used to manage and manipulate data in Microsoft main relational database management system, which is RDBMS. SQL Server, whether it's on premises or actually it is, it, or it's in the cloud, uh, like a Microsoft Windows Azure SQL database, SQL Server also supports other languages like Microsoft Visual C Sharp and Microsoft Visual Basics, but TSQL is usually the preferred language for the data management and manipulation. Then how this TSQL is actually came into the being? This is the big question. So let's see how the TSQL is, is actually evolved for the Microsoft. So basically TSQL utilizes uh, two basic components of, uh, of the workflows. Uh, First one is the set theory, which is the basic set theory that we normally read uh, and write in our mathematics exams. And then there's uh, predicate logic. Now, when you, you combine predicate logic with the set theory, you will get a relational model. Uh, in the, uh, and this relational model basically gives you the basics of the SQL. This is not the Microsoft SQL, this is the standard SQL. Now this SQL is basically uh, a standard which is uh, set by ISO, which is Organize International Organization for Standards and the American National Standards Institute. So this SQL have, is actually used to drive uh, the TSQL. The TSQL is basically the dialect of SQL, which is provided by Microsoft. So uh, we can say that like if I am talking about Oracle, Oracle is also utilizing the SQL. So the SQL for the Oracle is actually uh, like it will have some its own components, its own functions, and it's a separate direct with respect to Oracle, but it will obviously have to inherit the standard uh, ISO or the ANSI SQL. Uh, these two standards for SQL are basically the same. The SQL standards keep evolving with the time and there are major uh, revisions for this standards, namely uh, to name few uh, SQL 86, 89, SQL 92, SQL 1999, SQL 2006, SQL 2008 and SQL 2011 and many more which are actually coming up. These uh, standard features actually of SQL uh, are normally inherited by various vendors, like for example, Microsoft. And then these features are actually provided in TSQL along with the new features, which are actually written by Microsoft or any other or any uh, database vendor, right? So normally I can say this, like all leading database vendors, including Microsoft, implement a dialect of SQL as the main language to manage and manipulate data uh, in their database platform. Therefore, the core language element look the same. However, each vendor decides, uh, for example, Oracle or Microsoft, which features to implement and which they don't want to implement. Uh, mainly, most of the time, all of these features are actually uh, provided. Few are not uh, provided. Also, the standard some uh, standards sometimes leave some aspects as an implementation choice. Each vendor also usually implements extensions to the standards in case where the vendor feels that it's important that feature isn't covered isn't covered by the 
standard in itself. So normally it is uh, highly recommended that you need to write your code in a standard way. Uh, when you do so, your code is actually more portable. For example, if you write a code in SQL, uh, normal SQL, that code will also run on Oracle as well as uh, on Microsoft. And this, make it, uh, this makes your knowledge more portable too, because it's easy for you to start working with new platforms. Uh, then we talk about the dialect, you are working with the supports, both standard and in, and in a non-standard way to do something. You should always prefer to standard form, uh, prefer the standard form as your default choice. You should consider a non-standard op option as well, only when it has some important benefit to you that is not covered by the standard alternative. For example, if Microsoft is providing a very good feature, which is actually not available in SQL, uh, standard SQL, then you need to go for the Microsoft SQL. And in, uh, in, and in many ways, you need have to. So uh, this is all about like uh, how the SQL is evolved. I'm in further topics, I'm going to talk about relational model. And when I talk about relational model, I mean set theory and predicate logic. So hope so. Uh, you have liked this video, so please do not forget to subscribe, like, and share my YouTube channel, Yasef Fazal. And please do not forget to hit the bell icon. And as always, please spread the knowledge.